When I say Monuments Men, you probably think of the George Clooney, Matt Damon movie about an unlikely group of art experts enlisted during the height of World War II. Time to put a team together and do our best to protect buildings, bridges, and art before the Nazis destroy everything. Their job, to recover and protect history's greatest works of art from Hitler and the Nazis. It's an incredible movie plot, but the best part about this whole thing, it's a true story. Here to paint us a picture about the real life Monuments Men is Hotless Anchor, Amy Holmes. Hey Raj, I like your double entendre, paint a picture. Right? <laughs> yeah. So Amy, who were these guys? Well it started out as a small group of people, a handful of people who were art experts. Art historians, museum directors, architects, people like that. And then over the course of three years it grew to a group of 350 men and women searching for and rescuing art in World War II. The Monuments Men program was started in 1943 and the driving force behind it was the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. And they were all American? Well, no, actually, in fact, 13 different nations participated in this effort. And the Monuments Men, as they're popularly known, actually refers to the Monuments, Fine Arts, and Archives program. So what was their actual mission? They were to go to Western Europe and protect art, public art, for example, from being bombed. They also went in search of art that had been stolen by the Nazis and hidden in country estates and even salt mines. And the Monuments Men actually found, this is extraordinary, a salt mine in Austria where Hitler had stored or hidden 6,000 pieces of artwork. It seems like, if you look at videos of World War II, it seems like everything was just destroyed by, by bombs. And how were they able to actually secure this stuff without it getting destroyed? Well, interestingly, the Monuments Men even would build brick walls around public sculpture, for example. So they built a brick wall around Michelangelo's sculpture of Moses, his sculpture of David, uh, which you can see in Italy, uh, to protect those precious, precious sculptures from being destroyed by all the falling bombs. They also would tell the Allied bombers which locations to avoid. Hmm. So you know, don't bomb this location where there's precious artwork or this museum, including museums in Berlin in Germany. So this wasn't like one Monet painting they were after. This was oh, like no. Europe's collection of art. Absolutely. This was a huge operation that was being waged across Western Europe. And the Monuments Men ended up recovering five million pieces of precious artwork. We're talking about major artwork. I mean, Adolf Hitler wanted what was at the pinnacle of Western European art accomplishment. So for example, the Monuments Men recovered Michelangelo's Madonna the Gantt altarpiece, and the Gantt altarpiece, you might not have heard of it, but it is considered one of the most crucial pieces of Western art, Northern European art more specifically. It's 12 panels large from the 15th century and of extreme importance in particular to the Catholic Church. Also, they recovered Leonardo da Vinci's Lady with an Ermine, Vermeer's Astronomer, even a 10-foot pile of Torahs. So why did the Nazis want to steal and collect all this art in the first place? Adolf Hitler had this vision that the Germans were at the pinnacle of art and culture and that they were going to dominate Western Europe. He had this dream of building a museum called Führer Museum, if you can believe it, and they even built a model of what this museum was going to look like where he would house all of this precious, precious artwork from all across Western Europe. And Adolf Hitler even personally involved himself in choosing this art. So his soldiers would come back from art that they had stolen, and Hitler would basically give thumbs up, thumbs down, and art that didn't make it for his dream museum was sent to the reject pile. So did they save all of the art from the Nazis? You know, Raj, the search actually continues. There are still thousands of pieces that are missing that the Monuments Men are looking for. So the movie's out. Um, there's a lot of attention being given to this subject. What should we take away from this discussion? Well, what I take away from it is the extraordinary bravery of these men and women that are on the front lines to go and rescue these you know, precious icons of Western civilization and how grateful that we should feel here in 2014 that they did that, that you can go to the museum and see millennia of Western civilization. And it also really underscores just how important history and creativity is to even our identity and how we define ourselves and how we define culture. Wow. 
Oh, well said, Amy. <laughs> All right. Thank you Thank so you much. Rush.